Hello everyone, in this video we're going to take a look at the steps to create a storage pool and storage space using the storage space settings in the settings app for Windows 10. In a nutshell, storage spaces is a feature available on Windows that allows you to group physical drives into a logical storage that you can extend and protect your data with different protection levels. In the past, you needed to use control panel to configure this feature, but since Windows build 21286, you can now use the settings app to complete the same task. Okay, so let's dive into the steps to create a storage pool and a space that you can use to store files. Open settings, and then on system, storage, under the more storage settings, click the manage storage spaces option. Here, click this option to create a pool and a space. First, you need to specify a name for the pool. And then select the physical disks that you want to include as part of the pool. You can check this option to select all the available drives. Or you can select individually the drives that you want to participate in the pool. Then click the Create button. Now we need to specify the name for the space. In here, you want to specify the total amount of storage for the space. By default, storage spaces will use the total amount of the combination of all the drives that you have in the pool, but you can always make it larger. When you start running out of space, you only need to add additional drives to make that storage available to the computer. For the purpose of this video, I'm just going to leave the default size. Then you want to select the protection level, which is actually known as resiliency, which is a way to protect against drive failures by making copies of the files that you store on the volume. Storage Spaces offers five different levels of protection, including Simple, which actually doesn't offer any type of protection, but it requires at least two drives, so you can stripe the data between all the drives. Then there is a two-way mirror that requires at least two drives, and there is protections in the event of one drive failure. Then there is the three-way mirror that requires at least five drives and offers data protection of up to two drive failures. Then there is a party protection level that requires at least three drives and it offers better storage performance. Finally, there is the dual party protection level that requires at least seven drives and offers data protection of up to two drive failures and it also offers better storage performance. For the purpose of this video, I'm just going to select this option and then to create the space, we click the create button. Once we created the space, we need to create and format a new volume. To start, we're going to specify a level, a drive letter, the file system, which usually is going to be NTFS, and these options are optional. You can click the advanced menu, and here will reveal different settings that you can configure, such as to mount the volume as a folder into Windows 10. You can change the allocation unit size, and you can also enable compression, but most of the time you're not going to use these settings. And now to create the volume, we just need to click the format button. And that's it. So now we created a pool, we created a space, and inside of that space, we created a volume. And now if we open File Explorer, we're going to see that we have the new drive that we created. At any time, you can come back to the settings and you can review or change the settings. Uh, for example, if we select the pool, now we see that we have two options. Click on the properties, we'll take you to a new page, which will give you some details about that storage pool. And you also have an option to rename that pool if that's something that you need to do. And there is also an optimize button, which is the same as the one right here. And this option allows you to improve performance and efficiency of the disk usage. Uh, usually you're just going to use this option when adding more drives to the storage pool. Selecting the space, we also have a properties page that you can access and that also will give you an option to rename the space and there is also the extend button that allows you to change the size for the space. You can also take the space offline and that will now make it available for use on the computer. 
and there is the delete button that will delete the storage space and any data storing the volume. Then under physical disks, you can see all the drives that are participating in the pool. You can select each of the drives and then go to the properties where you can see more details about that specific drive. Of course, you can always add more disks to the pool. And you can create more spaces instead of a specific pool. And that's about it. That's how you create a pool, a space, in a volume using storage spaces with the settings app on Windows 10. If you prefer, you can still use control panel to manage the storage spaces on Windows 10 to create a pool, space, and a volume. For example, let's open control panel. Then let's go to system and security and then on storage spaces. Click this option. And in here we can select the drive that, that we want to combine to create a poll, which in this case, I'm just going to select these two drives. And then we're going to click the create a poll button. Once the poll is created, we need to specify a name for the space. My space two. Then we need to select that drive letter in a file system. Under resiliency, you can select the different levels of protection. And because I have only two drives, I'm going to select the two-way mirror option. And in here, you can also specify the total capacity for that particular space. If you're not planning to add additional drives, you can leave the defaults. If you're planning to add more drives later on, you can make this number larger. Once you enter the name, resiliency type, and the size, click the Create a Storage Space button. And now we have the new storage pool created. Inside of the pool, you can see the, the space and the drives that are participating in the pool. You can always click the change option to update the settings. And as for the pool settings, you can create a new storage space. You can add more drives, remove the pool and optimize the drive usage. And that's it. That's how you create a pool a space in a volume using the control panel storage spaces settings on Windows 10. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.